cracks is super simple, but this won't do it if you want to create a hyper-realistic material. That is why I added three personalized steps to create this. First, I always try to create my own cell maps. To create my own cell maps, I always start by creating a tile generator and setting the pattern to a disk. In here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale random this down and set this scale to be really small. I'm going to add a little bit of intersects in X and Y and set all of them to random. Finally, I want to do a position random in X and Y of 1, a rotation random of 1, and a luminance random of 0.5. After that, we're going to set this to max and we're going to input this to our distance node in both inputs, setting the maximum distance to 250 seconds and the only source. Then I deform the lines I have created to make them feel more organic. To achieve this, I use a directional warp. This directional warp is going to add more variation to the actual trail of our lines by using an intensity of 10 and a cloud 2 as the main mount for the intensity input. Then I'm going to blur this a little bit and use a levels with these parameters to make the lines even thinner, but this won't do it yet. So finally, I will use a slow blur in mean to generate some further variation and destruction feeling in them. As you can see here, I'm using a clause 2 as a slow input, my intensity is really low to 0 0.1 and in my 2D map you can clearly see that there are some strong parts and some lighter parts. This has allowed me to create the cracks you see in this material and I have been using it for quite a long in the industry as professional material artists. If you want to know more about destruction in substance design or leave a comment saying destruction in the comments of this video.